After the fall of Somerset in 1550, Northumberland took charge. Now, religious change under Northumberland was uh, not much different in many ways. He still wanted to try and get wealth from the church. However, the Protestantism was much more radical than what Somerset had enabled. Now, one big reason for this was the fact that Northumberland had actually crushed Kett's rebellion, and therefore the people knew that uprisings were likely to get crushed by this point. Now then, uh, there was one reason why Northumberland, as a very kind of conservative figure, certainly he appeared in the council, went very radically Protestant. And you could argue it's because of Cramner, because Cramner was beginning to become more radical. This is shown in the more radical Book of Common Prayer in 1552, but also the... Um, Chain, also the 42 Articles of Religion, which define the essentials of the faith of the Church of England and really reflect the influence of the reformers of Zwingli and Bullinger. Zwingli in particular with the idea of them, that the idea of church should only be the remembrance of the Eucharist instead of the Eucharist in itself like the Catholic Church. And this was very radical Protestantism. Now, changes in the Book of Common Prayer with the removal of ceremonies, uh, conservative ceremonies basically the rewriting of baptism confirmation and burial services and the idea of that was to make it more easily understood and therefore a simplistic church service the radical reform of communion services wafer by ordinary bread and therefore again it's a simpler um it's a simpler service popish vestments again simple clerical vestments which seems more in keeping with the simple approach to services and also the restriction of church meaning the idea was it hinders religious understanding as well and again it's a simple church service also, more radical senior clergy like Ridley and Hooper were becoming uh, more influential in religious reform. Further continental reformers, lots of radical Protestants were also coming over to England, like Bucher and Peter Martyr. Uh, most importantly, reflects um, Edward VI on policy making. Um, his role of church, he was the head of the church, and therefore he was taking his role more seriously. In particular, as his tutor John Skeleton was also a Protestant. Um, Cramner's 42 articles, although weren't passed, kind of shows, you know, how radical Protestantism has become. Uh, the Crown was still in financial difficulties. They were extracting wealth through the plundering of bishop bishoprics. The Diocese of Gloucester and Worcester were combined. Two thirds of the Worcester state went to the Crown. The Bishops of Exeter and Winchester made substantial grounds for their properties to the Crown. One way, and you can look at this religious really changes through the idea of wills. Many people left wills to the Catholic Church. However, people were much less likely to leave money to the parish church under the reign of Edward VI. And in particular, they tried to either sell their parish, their plate, church plate, so they could get money from it, or they'd hide it away from the government in order so it didn't get melted down. <laughs>